In this video, we'll learn about how an electric iron able to control the temperature automatically by turning itself on and off. If we see from user perspective, the main and basic use case of this electric iron is to remove wrinkles from the cloth and its temperature has to be adjusted for the different types of cloths. So for this purpose, a knob is required. So a user can just rotate this knob and can adjust the temperature for the different types of cloths. Now let's see the elements present inside the electric iron. The first and very basic element is this coil which gets heated up when we pass the electricity through it and passes this generated temperature from its base to the cloths. This coil is made of nichrome wire as it doesn't oxidize or burn easily even at very high temperature. And this nichrome coil is coated with mica which is a very good conductor of heat and passes the generated temperature in the nichrome coil to the base of the iron and provides safety from electricity as well as it is a very bad conductor of electricity. These two elements coil made of nichrom wire and mica are the very basic element of the siren and able to generate the temperature from the electricity and can pass this generated temperature from the bottom of the iron to the cloths. Next, let's understand how this electric iron is able to control the temperature with this knob. So for this, it uses a thermostat which is basically made of bimetallic strip. As the name suggests, this bimetallic strip is made of two types of metal. One is having higher temperature coefficient and another is having lower temperature coefficient. So at higher temperature, one type of metal will resist the temperature while at the same temperature, the other metal will try to extend itself. So due to this property, at higher temperature, this bimetallic strip will bend. If you open the electric iron and see, you will find it has heating element which is a coil made of nichrome wire and coated with mica is connected to this bimetallic strip 1 which is a thermostat and it has one more bimetallic strip at the bottom. So at higher temperature it has to bend. So if we pass the electricity the phase connected to this coil will heat up this iron initially and as the contact of this strip 1 is through to the bottom of this thermostat which is connected to the neutral of AC supply it makes a loop for electricity and this electric iron will start heating and once it has heated up enough this bimetallic strip 2 will start bending upwards and since it is bending upward it will push the bimetallic strip 1 upward as well and removes the contact from the bottom of this thermostat which is connected to the neutral wire. So it breaks the loop of electricity and therefore no electricity will flow through this coil. So in this time period now this electric iron will start cooling down and after some time once it has cooled down enough so after this cooling again this bimetallic strip 2 will come down and make the contact through again so in green color you can see it will make the connection through again to the neutral and electricity will start flowing again to this coil and it will be able to generate heat again so when we are rotating this knob, we are basically adjusting the screw of 
this thermostat means adjusting the contact between the bimetallic strip and the contact for the neutral so this is how this electric iron is able to control temperature automatically using this thermostat and for the indication a neon bulb is used in the iron which is connected in parallel so when temperature is normal means contact is through this neon bulb will glow and when temperature goes higher and the bimetallic strip contact breaks the electricity will not flow anymore and this neon bulb will be turned off this was the small working operation of the electric iron let me know if you have still any query or doubts regarding this topic and also let me know if you have any other input thank you for watching this video